Hey girls, today I'm doing an exciting haul that I've been waiting a long time to film, honestly, like maybe two or three weeks because Makeup Revolution just released a new skincare range along with all their other kind of new makeup releases and their pro range which I think is also really popular because I picked up quite a few items so they did have quite a few issues with the orders but yeah I went on the website to track my order and then they had this whole explanation up and I was like oh wow it is going down so basically they just messed up a bunch of people's orders but they delivered it eventually so I finally got all the items here and I'm really excited to show you it is one of my favourite brands and yeah it was just because through the online purchases obviously they have to go through the whole you know factory process of shipment and delivery and it's not just like going into store and buying what's there so yeah that's the only downfall of buying online I think but other than that I got a really good offer I think a lot of the items were on sale and then also very exciting this palette they it's worth I think 15 pounds but they said you get a free um, palette of your choice if you order online and I think if you spend over 30 pounds I spent I think like 35 so again really really happy with everything I bought so inexpensive and honestly it's like a dupe for higher end products so I'm very excited to get into this so without further ado let's start and I've just noticed now my hair isn't looking amazing today. It's second day hair, kind of greasy, TMI, whatever. But uh, yeah, definitely needs a good wash. Like the roots are not looking great. But yeah, I don't know. Am I looking like Corella Deville here? Or is the dry shampoo kind of doing something? I don't know. Anyway, first item. It's a highlighter. Very exciting. It's called Girls, yeah, Girls Best Friend Triple Baked Highlighter. I have another one of these from their iHeart Makeup range. And let me just see if I can get this open. Oh, just about got this open. So, love the packaging from the brand as well. And it's basically, you guys probably know what a baked highlighter is. But let's open this up, because I've yet to open any of these. I wanted like a first impression for you guys. Oh, this is so cute and girly. It's um in a diamond shape. The other one I have from them is like a heart shape. But yeah, it looks exactly the same as on the website. It's got, uh, it's like a three-tone highlighter so I guess you could swirl a kind of flat top brush around and then lightly like tap it onto a cheekbones for example I think that would be beautiful or you can just take the colors individually because you have a lighter pink here and then like a bronze oh it does swipe quite nicely it's not too it's not very chalky and it does come out quite opaque so I think the quality is actually very good and then blended out it just comes with a nice sheen so I think yeah if you have a tan or darker more olivey skin something like that I think this would look absolutely beautiful also as an inner corner highlight love doing that very excited to have picked that up and then I kind of went crazy with the highlighters I don't know what is going on next from Revolution it's very very fancy packaging don't know if this is new or not but it reminds me very much of Chanel actually maybe that's what they were going for this is the um, it's a highlight compact so it comes with a mirror it's called opulence and from what I could tell they had two shades so you get a nice big mirror here and then the shades itself it reminds me of something like I think it might be Guerlain Guer how do you say it? Guerlain? or Shiseido one of those had like something very similar to this with beautiful design I think it's very intricately made and all the different shades so let me just like swipe my finger across because I don't think I can get each colour let's see how that comes out ooh that's like a multi-toned kind of a uh, coppery gold shade that's very beautiful let's see it's swatch so very very pigmented so far I'm really really impressed like look at that and then oh sorry giving you guys the finger blend it out it comes out like a beautiful bronze shade there not too glittery doesn't have like big particles yeah so it blends out really nicely very excited for this I think all these products so far are really good okay I will go on to the next highlight palette very exciting should have saved the best for last but this is from their pro HD amplified palette and it's yeah from the pro hd range brighter than my future okay no that is so me that is like 10 times brighter than my future probably <laughs> no that's depressing okay this has got to be like their biggest most like opulent palette ever but yeah you've got a beautiful selection of shades very different to um the other palettes i've seen except for this one color lit that it's similar to one of their other highlighter palettes and then you've got a gold shade. I think, yeah, maybe it's based on the same formula of their other highlighters and bronzers, but uh, different names. So this one is Lit. Then you've got Yas. <laughs> That's literally what, how it, what it says. Then you've got Poser. Oh, I love that. It's such a beautiful gradient. Like, I think if you just, like, dipped your brush in it and then, like, sweeped it along cheekbones, so nice. And then you've got Slay. Then Shook. Exactly my reaction. What's this? Oh, Snatched. Then you've got extra, then you've got 
bougie. Wow, these are like words I use on a regular basis. This palette is so me. So <laughs> now we're going to see, okay, I'll swatch a few. So this is Shook. Let's see if it's got me Shook. That's a really nice gold. Wow, and it still comes out like a gradient. That's awesome. So there it is. Um, it's more intense than this one. It's got more kind of orangey, warmer tones to it there. But yeah, blended out, still really nice. And let's see what else. Okay, bougie. I think this is a beautiful... Okay, that's not so much a blush because it, it's very shimmery. But okay, blends out very, very subtly. So I guess it could be a blush. But it's like a warmer peach shade. Again, I think for summer or evening makeup where you want something very very kind of bright, brighter than your future. I think that would be a good shade. So very happy with this palette so far. It retails for 15 pounds, but the shades are very big. I think this will last a long time. It's so versatile, like you've got everything here. You can multitask with eyeshadows. So yeah, I really like it so far. And that was free with the purchase, which is amazing. I think they had like four you could choose from. And now moving on to their newer releases. So this one last item I got in their sales from the, it says uh, Makeup Obsession Live Love London. So I don't know what that brand specifically is, but it's a contour powder in Fair. And what I'm noticing so far, it's got a star in the middle and that's actually very, very reminiscent, I think, of Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I'm not sure if this is a ripoff, but I'm liking it so far. So it is a very small palette and I believe, okay, it's a magnetic palette so you can like detach it and then just like put it back in place. So if you wanted to put in a palette, that's very useful. That's just what it looks like. And because it's a contour powder, I'm hoping it's a kind of a thicker formula and it does come out relatively opaque. Uh, it doesn't look chalky or too dry. So hopefully it wouldn't like cake up on the skin. It comes out very, very kind of translucent on the skin right there. Trying to not give you guys the finger. So, um, yeah, it comes out very like a soft, uh, neutral shade, doesn't do a lot, but I imagine on a very, very small tapered brush, like under the cheekbones, uh, down the bridge of the nose, something like that, it could work very well for like a powder contour highlight thing. And then I got two more products from the Pro range. One is a foundation that I've already tried, and I'll just remove this out of packaging. It's from the Full Cover Camouflage Foundation range, and they had a very, very wide uh, color selection. I think they are very good at being very inclusive and really catering to every skin type, every skin tone. That's what I like about the brand as well. They just kind of have something for everyone. So I got the shade F2 and I believe it's from the, it's either yellow or pink undertone. I actually have pink undertone into my skin. I might have picked up yellow by accident, but yeah, it's one of these, it's one of those and one of the lighter fair shades. And it just says, yeah, full cover, camouflage foundation. Doesn't say much, but it's a very, very creamy formula. Uh, kind of, yeah, quite a thick consistency. It reminds me, it's obviously not as high quality, but it reminds me of the Tarte Amazonian Clay or It Cosmetics um, full cover concealer. If you guys know those products, then that's very similar with this formula, with the shade, with the way it blends out. So I really like this. I think it gives a very flawless finish. And I can't remember all the prices of this, but you can check online. Everything was under £10 and on sale, most of the items were actually under £5. And I also picked up a primer. So I'm running low on my other Revolution Pro one and I really enjoy using it. It's a big tube, really good for day to day. I have a lot of smaller ones, but they're more for like brightening and illuminating the skin. So it's not something I want day to day, but this is the pore primer. So they had about three or four to choose from. And I believe this one is just for kind of filling in the pores, adding a protective layer to the skin before your like foundation and uh, liquid products, because I just don't want that seeping into my skin. I want it kind of sitting really kind of flawlessly and smoothed out. So I'm hoping this does the trick. Let's test out the formula. Okay. Oh, it's really watery. Is that supposed to happen? Wait, let me just give it a good shape. I don't know, maybe it is a watery formula, but... Okay, it's very, very watery. <laughs> Not sure what's going on there, but blended out. Oh, it's kind of got that silicone-y texture to it. So I don't know if you guys can see right here. Um, it's like a very, it feels like a very, very kind of soft oil. It doesn't have a scent, but I can see how that would blend in quite nicely under makeup. So I'm really hoping this works well. If not, you'll be hearing about it in my empties at some point. I've never tried a product like this with this formula, so hopefully it goes well. And then last but not least, I have a skincare item, I believe. So it's a serum, and I think this is from the new skincare range. So it's 10%, um, okay, let me try and pronounce this, niacinamide and 1% zinc. 
It's the Blemish and Pore Refining Serum. So this is 30ml and the, everything is vegan, cruelty and fragrance free. So I'm hoping that makes it a lot more natural and better for the skin, I guess, especially if you have sensitive skin. Okay, so let's get this out. Right, I'm really loving the packaging. I think they've done a really good job thinking this through and like kind of making it also aesthetically pleasing. So it's got a dropper, which I love. So you just squeeze it out and then just apply a few drops across the face or wherever you want to use it. I mean, obviously on the face, but like if you just want to focus on the cheeks. But do go check out their new range. Keep in mind that online the orders will take a little longer because it is a new range. Things might sell out quickly, but do go check out in store as well. I know Superdrug stock makeup revolution. So that is everything I got. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the brand, if you like these kind of big one brand hauls, because this is one of my favorites, so I'm very happy to do more of these. And yeah, thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.